Good morning. Excuse me. Good morning. My name is John Vieta, Olympic Region Manager for Department of Natural Resources. And I have with me today Al Vaughn, who is the Assistant Region Manager in charge of managing state lands in the region. Um, our report today is just a, a kind of an update, if you will, on the income that's come into the county uh, in the last little while since we last talked. And uh, of course, now we have the total year of 2008. If you look over on table one there, we have uh, go down a few lines, you'll see Jefferson County. And it was actually a pretty good year uh, in a, on a relative basis uh, for income to Jefferson County at 1.4 million. Um, as we look out toward the future, uh, things are probably going to get be a little less in 2009, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One is the uh, value of stumpage has basically uh, dropped, <laughs> and by more than half. Um, the, the, with the housing market the way it is, it's, it's greatly affected the timber market, which is mostly for a few folks. And uh, so, so it doesn't look real promising in terms of dollars for the next year. Uh, we have had some issues uh, of late, uh, not so much in Jefferson County, on the east side of Jefferson County, of, of selling timber. And on the west side of the peninsula, both in Clowell and Jefferson Counties, um, the, the sales uh, have not actually been selling. We had a couple of sales that were offered up for sale last couple of weeks ago and, and no purchasers bid on them. Um, and it's, it's a result of two things. One is, is that we've got about a three month time lag in our appraisal process that um, is caused by the process we go through. So when we appraise the timber, the, the, the value is about three months behind the date of sale. And the market has been dropping faster than it has in history. And when that happens, you can easily see on a graph that you've appraised it up here, and now the value is down here, and people are not going to bid on it. So we, we typically have been able to scramble with those and, and re-offer them. Uh, when you're on an up market, it, it doesn't matter so much, because you, if you follow that, you'll also notice that we get a lot of overbids from our appraised prices on an up market takes care of itself. So we're experiencing that and then just the plain simple fact that the mills are dealing with can they sell the lumber if they make it. Um, and I, I don't have a good crystal ball for what's going to happen with the, the housing market and the timber market. But So I would anticipate that the income would be somewhat less in, in uh, 2009. Um, I think we have a few words. And John, this income is for all the taxing districts in the county, right? Just for yeah, the it's, it's all of the, Jefferson county. well, these dollars are what comes in on state forest board land or what used to be known as county trust and the total that you receive and then how it's broken out to your taxing districts. So it's the fire and the schools, 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 yes. districts and everybody. So I mean, I, I want everybody to think I'm getting 1.4 million dollars from the budget. <laughs> right, right. That's I, I'm not sure how you you folks end up dividing that up. I know you have formulas that you follow, and right. everybody gets a little piece of the pie. Um, and we're looking probably around and projected around a half a million for next year. I think is what uh, one of these charts show, um, and that remains remains to be seen based on on uh, whether the harvest gets done. We did have one. Uh, toll sale that sold that was actually our highest value sale was a sale called Tawando's Pole. Forget that stump. Do you ever recall that all? I don't. I don't. Three hundred thousand. Yeah, but I mean the value for. Oh, oh, oh it was, uh, was three hundred. Like no, no. Pretty high, thirteen hundred. Okay. Well, when we sell a pole sale, is, the prices are way up there. Our average stumpage for fur is down around two hundred dollars a thousand for regular saw logs, and of course poles are worth much more and we have this one to one of those pole sale it hasn't been harvested yet. We anticipate that getting harvested in 2009. Um, so that's uh, kind of the story in terms of projections in, in uh, timber sales and 
Do you have any other questions for us? Our aquatic Wait. folks aren't going to be here today. But we'll... Yeah, I have a question, John, on the uh, on the letter we received. Um, it talks about a board resolution on uh, the forest board transfer land, 78% per board resolution. Is that the forest board resolution or is that uh, a county board resolution? Uh, where are you referring? Because I'm not On the last keep up paragraph, it. it says reminder. I think we all got the same letter. Distribution from Boris Forest Board transfer lands is 78 percent per board resolution, 97.919. So I did that. Where it says reminder. It should be on the front, on the, just on the front page there, I think. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at one that doesn't have a copy of that particular letter. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, okay, that that's that, that has to do with the percentage of uh, what what that uh, would work out to you is that the department the, the county gets seventy eight percent of all the income and the remainder uh, it is what two <coughs> percent is what the department uses to manage. And, and the board resolution is that a forest board resolution? Then? That was the that would be the the board of natural resources. Okay. Resolution. That's what that was. Sorry.